Mixwell did go back, get the heal. So he is well equipped to take this fight again. Lands another tag. This, I mean, it's just a nuisance pushing in through B main here with his Viper utility. Paranoia comes through, swings out. Korea can't find anything. Trades back and forth right now. Let's go. Pit will find a 4K on the piss. Actually, the fault line forcing Pit all the way back next to Mixwell. Mixwell's actually going to find Rhyme again on lane. Actually, G2 handling this very well. They got all the information early on. Spike actually getting planted Spike inside planted. sight now, but with Pit, One Mixwell still alive. Ready. You've got to assume the retakes on the cards here, and look at that. Three kills, quick succession, That's and the work. fourth. That's a tech cleans that one up. But, I mean, a nice hit from NIP. It was... Uh... With, um, I don't know, just just the odd, once they got it into play, just trying to play that sort of viable. But now it's in very active holds. These corners are hard to clear, but Rhyme does well. And traded back into by Mixwell. There's, again, we're looking to see if NIP do as much damage as they can. And finding Ardis is a, definitely Ooh. a big step forward. Yeah, 3v3. I did actually misspoke. I, I, I said eco, but it was actually a force in round two from NIP, which is why we saw that mm -hmm. quick kit. Now we're seeing the Sheriff come back in, but actually coming down to a 3v3 now. Pip falls and Ardis falls in over on mid. Chihuahua trying to find something with the Sheriff over towards Mixwell and Snowman. Mixwell just going to pop smoke down, play his life for the time being. All three members of NRP now crossed over towards yellow, and Spike making his way towards site. This could be a decent round. Given my Mixwell is noted, they have lost some potential spot on him just because he could have left through the cloud burst. Hasn't, though, but Rhyme is very though. low. 4 HP here for Rhyme. Patitech comes in, does his job, gets him back healed up. And the sheriffs, the, the deagles are still pretty deadly. Ooh. Rhyme's shown you exactly as to why trade does come back through. Still very viable for NIP. You have two players alive. Existence being one commits to this right standing. side of the angle, forcing Chihuahua to take the fight. But now Mixwell takes control. The defuse is coming in. It's Zeke right there, but it's going to still be Existence for 1v1. He's pulled him off the, the spike. He's got a swing on oh. oh, and clutching it. Out. Big contact made yet now. They know what's up now, they know where it's going. JD with a little bit of a wall bang, just trying to spam it out, and it's the right choice as well. Zeke's down to 60 HP, really good choices being made here, and oh. Kree has cleared it. This is a gorgeous sight take. NIP are playing this methodically. Yeah, that's the artist getting tagged up with Hunter's Fury, and he had to fall back a little bit to screens here. We'll finally get the heal. He has his Hunter's Fury online also, maybe gonna try and deny the plant here. We'll go for a couple of tags. Doesn't land anything initially. NIP able to reset behind it now. Wall goes up. Spike will go down on default. Yeah, no, no stopping that one. Padatek swift on the way out, but it's existence to find two valuable kills here. And look at this positioning. The perfect lurk, the, the lurk. perfect flank. That is how you play that role. He didn't need to be there at the start. He had full faith in his squad to get that site under control. He flanks in through middle, catches them in the back. Finally, yes, Patitek will get the kill, but with 11 HP and a couple more seconds till he can get that heal off, he needs some help. And while he's chosen artist, it may be a good choice, but the choice falls away. And NIP is going to be a dangerous factor in this. Existence tapping the bomb. Look at, look at the timing left. 20 seconds. Pit is being so I'm good at this. Playing this over. He could commit just to stop the plant, and he does. Pit's gone absolutely wild again. He down his neck very shortly. Okay. 30 seconds. See, very well before Patatek. That's, that's a big pick towards Ryan. No chance to get that maybe late lurk. The swing is so good. Zeke goes down, Ardis this time larger than charge, but only good for one, and oh my god, Existence just doubled down. Paditek called into action, finally swings back through. You could have seen what could have happened if Ryan won that fight. These two players would have been in all sorts of problems, but Kree is the one in problem. He's now got players everywhere. That op is not ideal, but Existence does the best he can, but Paditek is just that bit better right now. Heroes and capes, man. It's not a good idea, is it? Paditek, though. Towards the site, still waiting out. Patitek was critical to that previous round, and it's going to be critical again. JD this time, what well, a scalp to be claiming to. And Mixwell showing them how to do it with that op. Already Rhyme's gone down round. Rhyme's been shut down too. The Sovas are having a really tough day today. Yeah, Chihuahua actually coming all the way through mid him. Fault line doesn't actually catch Patitek, but see Chihuahua waiting out that rotation from Zeke, but I think he's missed it. Look at him, he's trailing him right now. Spike all the way behind Yellow still on the back of Existence. Oh my left. God, Korea oh. didn't actually catch Patitek there. The timing is awful for him. He's heard these two. He's heard these rotations. It's down to Patitek. 
Palitech's going to be huge in this. Existence plus Palitech basically is going to be changing this round. Three is going to find one. Try to go to the one control. Spray Mixor turns it. It's Existence though! The guy's a god! He's just meant to be the brain. We've been closer and closer already. This drone's going to give away our position. Zeke's actually going to find a kill. Kree gets tagged up. Will he swing on it? He will. JD, good for the trade. Zeke now just the last man standing. There you go. NIP find the second. 3v3 now. Spike will go down on A side. No lurk this time. No existence. Wrapping through middle. We actually have the flank coming around from Mixwell and this is going to be a literal... Wait, the trade! So good for existence. Quick revive comes in. JD needs to be big. Here it is! JD stands up tall and NIP! Positioned. Korea all the way back at Snowman. Oh, wait, the camera's perfect. It sees the spike going down. You know, they have one close enough to hear it. Korea with a frenzy though. This is a deep angle to try and find some value with that artist. Already looking now to put his stamp on the second half. In this pistol round. NIP 3v3 in the retake. No. Oh. These post plants. Wait, Wait. what? Chihuahua's sticking it. What? He's sticking it. He's the Molly's last player. That's standing. not deep enough. Okay. Oh, no, but covered. luckily. It's okay. Way back in spawn now. Has to go back and heal existence. Gets back up to heaven, but Sight's gonna go to G2. At some point I do want to have a discussion of planted. He is. He he's on point all day long. His aim is actually Unreal. Rhymes there as well to find pit. So they've yeah. actually made this into a bit of a round. This has gone a little bit just like that. Further yeah. astray than I imagined, but they're not surely going to get any more freebies. The existence try and check as he goes, but time's ticking at this point. JD's there. Art is still very much on site. Time is really good, but actually gets outdone by the bolt coming in. JD now on the swing. And finally, we see Mixwell and Zeke stamping a little authority on them. Also for NIP, even though we're at tied rounds. Um, I mean, the fact that G2 have kept this many players alive in the buyout. Zeke just get that? That's over on A. Again, he's doing his thing. Coming through on Bell. Oh. Pit at six out. Pit's JD. been doing his DM, man. He's been putting in the hours. You can see that aim is on today, but... Uh, maybe NIP looking to make some aggressive moves. I'm looking at that APIC that's kind of stuck in my mind. But Paditech, look at this timing. Mixwell's already found JD. Paditech's just right in between them. Yeah, G2 played this to perfection. Yes, Existence is still trying to do what he can, but he's going to need a lot more than this. If he gets a free kill, sure, not going to happen against Mixwell. There we go. That was fast and loose, almost the classic G2. But again now, NIP back on what pennies? You gotta assume if they're gonna. A does seem the more favored destination, but Zeke leading the way. This is where we'll see Rainer doing Rainer things. And a good start. Run goes down, dead and buried. Looks for more. Gonna keep going forward over heels. Overpowered and looking dangerous. That's the Zeke I wanna see. Look at that. Individually cracks open A. Get the plan down, boys. No worries. I've got this safe. Against pistols, of course. Keep in mind, Sheriff's and a Marshal here or two. But that's about it. Distance. We'll find Pat Mixwell up on belt. Expecting you G2 to be back on five. Eyes. Here we go. Pat gets Zeke back on his feet now. Mixwell. Decent read on where JD just repositioned to. And actually, what is utility going to get invested here? Are they swinging up on top pipes now? Going to be. Oh, how did he win that? What? He finds a second as well. Artist things, man. Just artist things. Now, Chihuahua does give away at least where they're coming from, but that's a further giveaway. Every bit of information found, they know where they are. They still need to do uphill work. A 2v3 on the retake, and Ardis and Mixwell are not letting anyone pass. Korea's found a way through, though. Tries to bait the noise on the ropes, but still has to walk further. Mixwell, tucked on the site, op in hand, patrolling around. You can see that barrel just... Being a little too intimidating this time, and I think Korea now knows his options. Pretty much done for here. Yeah, backing away. But I liked what we saw initially. Again, I, I know this seems almost silly, but I'm looking at NIP as what more can we see from them? Because I, I think everyone expects G2 to win this, right? Like, that's just how it is. It's when you have a heavy favorite like G2 in this situation, you've got to understand that we expect them to win. Focus on Chihuahua, that if he makes the presence in the right time, he could do damage. It's a one for one trade, but there's existence. Nice work towards Mixwell and a two for one exchange. You'll take that on the defense. Indeed, JD forced all the way back onto site again. Oh, okay. Patitech drifting a little bit with the spike there, and Existence will find that and the second. 
JD shuts down the Lurk as well. So Existence good for three on that round. And then obviously if it's 12-11, of course they force for the overtime. Try and win to prevent, sorry, overtime, but... Mm. Okay. Now, I, I imagine if you're G2 and you've had a couple of rounds not go your way, you go back to that B piece, right? You go back to that B take that was consistently working. And now, if you're NIP, you see this amount of attention already that side. You've got to understand what's happening. I want to see faster mid presence, and that's what we're getting existence. You can see him already over there. Mixwell leaning in this way heavily. You still have Zeke, you still have Pitt watching that mid push. But now, already, that site takes begun. G2 have players towards B here. You do indeed. And this time. Actually, Zeke going to join Pit in mid here. That trap wire may be going to cause some issues for them or give some information. Actually, they're creeping up tube here. Chihuahua. We'll find two people staring down the tube at him. Close the case down. Break side of sight. Ryan actually now stuck in between a rock and a hard place. To be honest, you can't stick in a wall. I don't love it. I do not love it at all. All this task we getting that plant spike on the side. Everyone's here, but I don't like how funneled they are. Look at the damage that's going to come through. Kree's in all kinds of trouble. Utility left. poured in, but they have bought some time. I really wish we had that look. Pit is still on patrol down there. Oh, this waiting this out. There's finally vision. Chihuahua gets a drop on Mixwell. That's incredibly surprising. He's been sharp throughout this game, but Zeke instantly trades out with Chihuahua. Swing from Korea is not on point, and Pitt's there. This is looking all but over, and there's G2 just shutting down any... Oh, but Spike will go down. Looks like the wall's actually going to go over heaven on rafters, so it's going to buy a little bit of time for G2 to get situated now. Actually, the four-man pushed onto ramp. Look at this here. Ryan's going to find this well. I hated that positioning from Mixwell there. He was he was nowhere. Chihuahua, a gorgeous shot there as well, taking out Ardis. This is very much game on. Pitt had a wonderful pistol before, nice. but no chance at all. Beautiful retake. But in middle somehow, they'd be in trouble. It's not being. Paddy Tech keeping it safe, and Chihuahua is none the wiser. He's in all kinds of trouble. Yeah, Chihuahua's now going to spin attention. Ooh. Brilliant shot. Oh, my. wait. Chihuahua's actually done so well here, and we said the consideration of if that spike gets lost, there's problems. They've got to push for this now. Yeah, they do, and they have to take this... Close quarters fight with SMGs in heaven. And actually, JD finds One the first two remaining. on the ropes. Existence will find another. JD. Uh, D2. Again, neither side going to give up a kill before the plant here. Rhyme got to be careful. Zeke didn't catch him either. But that's going to give some information away. It looks like they're aware of Zeke's position as well. Whether or not they know this is a double stack. Are they going to double wall up here? I think they are. They're both going to swing on the wall. There's one. Rhyme can get the heal off. See, should have seen the second there. Yeah, the pixel just peeking over. But time's still ticking here. Pit's still holding the line. Freer trades back in. Pit still stands, but only for so long. And now just down to Ardis in a 1v3. You do have the spike ticking away. So time's free. We're effectively playing mail slash heaven now. And that information comes through. The four-man pusher G2 goes on to site. Rawa finds the first. JD good for the second. The wall coming down a little bit late there, I've got to say, for G2. Not blocking off any of those sight lines. No, this is making it all too easy for someone like JD to watch that cross. Now, yes, we still have Mixwell here. We do still have Pitt, I believe, alive as well, but a little further away. So it's Mixwell on a bit of an island until he gets some support. And Korea's holding this angle, and I haven't been sold on Korea on the op just yet, but this would be a nice chance to see what he can bring towards that. Good work towards Mixwell. Punishes that, sees the spike drop. But bear in mind, NIP are working with a new IGL. That's a big change. That's a very big change. That's a whole stylistic change. But Ardis puts on the move, but only nearly to be thrown back into that ice wall from Chihuahua. He's holding the angle. He's seen a lot of info. And he peeks back in. He's isolated Mix while he's doing so much work. The cage is breaking now. JD sprays him wildly. They know there is more. Rhymes here. The nade couldn't quite come for the time. That paint shell is not going to go as far as they want. And a quick response coming out from NIP. They want to fight this. That's a dangerous game. Fighting for territory against G2 can end poorly. And they got a full reset here. Again, it is a 3v3. NIP have the revive should they choose to invest it, but it's got to be later on in the round because you can see they're isolated behind that wall of G2. Korea's gone wandering. It's all the way through Sushi now. Actually, Zeke going to get a better of existence. JD lines up for the trade. And again, he's good for the taps today. Except for that one. Mixwell hands the Vandal shot. 
Look at this though. Look who's already in sewers. Will Kriya catch it? He's caught it. Oh, he's he's caught it perfectly. Look at Ooh, that. I don't know who's, who's old enough in chat to remember these things. We are back into the game though. G2. Tactical timeout, Hypoc. They had to talk something through because this is not a scoreline that they wanted by any means. No, and actually, you're going to say what I've commended NIP for now, just taking the brawl with G2 and that's going to go in G2's favor this time around. A two for one trade. <laughs> so I've got to stop looking at the party chat. Sorry. Uh, they are now going to try and pressure on JD again. Good with the taps. As the headshot artist will fall. And that brings it back down to a 3v3. Chihuahua actually hopping up on top of the wall there. I find Mixwell kind of sleeping, to be honest with you. Didn't expect that whatsoever. Neural theft popped. Information garnered. JD going to get existence back on his feet now, but... Again, yes, they can probably get the spike down, but Pitt's got to be the man you watch here. He has to get something done in heaven. Okay, Pitt, that's one. That's two. There you go. All you can want, but more. One left in the chamber. Do it for us, Pitt. Do it for us. Last player standing. Okay. Okay. Well, you know. you know, there was there was a chance for it being exciting. The answer may be coming back in for them, but a perfect kind of basic side approach here towards B, just very simple, going through the motions, definitely trying to clear Chihuahua, but a gap, and that creates an opportune moment, and it's a chance to strike, but Ardis ensures no more danger comes in, but Ryan with a quick ultimate, just going to pile it down. JD! That positioning! JD is so powerful. Yet either information be found off the boom bot, potentially. I think they've just slipped away, but now there's problems. Big problem. Exactly Tech found a huge way. opening. That's a massive entryway, but do they expect to play up the ropes? They expected Players one for the second. Tech too strong, too smart, too aware. Three rounds now with G. No similar mid split towards potentially A at this point. I don't love the spike being with Sage there. It does seem that it's backing away through the sewers and slow progress being made. But Rhyme again controlling middle of his career. This time different angle and a different outcome. At least finds one on the way down. Oh god, that's horribly oh, he's so awkward. He's so blind. One enemy remaining. <laughs> Oh, but NIP positioned to punish the revive as well. Not sure if they're going to realize Pat's text already tucked in hell, but spike down now. NIP is going to look to hold this one. Maybe we'll get one kill, but position noted. It's going to be spammed out of that corner now. There you go. NIP. Will, I think, yeah, you can see Pat's tech pinging. He's got some sound cues somewhere. The smoke drops. Unfortunate time there for Chihuahua. There you go, Ardis. We'll find the first with the Bulldog pass up for the second. And Mixwell's here to reinforce. Something about Mixwell, once he gets on that op, you just notice how much time he is in different places on the map. I mean, in other games, you credit left. kind of um, very mobile oppers and orpers in Counter Strike, for example. You know, the likes of Device. And what have you, and I, I do think he's one of those very talented players. And you can see NIP are trying to find their best option, trying to draw out rotations, and it's not going to happen. Mixwell and Zeke going to shut that out. So an interesting piece of play coming through. I want to see that commitment now. Oh, he's hardest oh, actually walked into that fault line there, so going to get caught backside pit. Still finds that one, even though he's concussed. JD now, good for two. It's so good. Do they clear artists? They do indeed. Ryan going to find that one as well. So G2 down to two players now. Mixwell. On this late rotation, Sue going to join Patatech up in heaven. They both upgrade to Phantoms. Mix one now. Working forward, combat stim going down. Trying to put himself absolutely on fire, and he finds two. Now the final player. Left foot against him. No! Oh, Mixwell! Miss 7 5 now. G2 might start feeling the pressure. This could be opening up to a VO5. And Rhyme is going to do the very best he can. Now, did he expect the second? No. Hattitech can't do much to change this now. He's kind of trapped in there. This could be a problem. Yeah, he's got to get away from that aftershock as well. And we'll tag him up for about 30 or so HP, I think. Chihuahua again given all this freedom to lurk all the way into ropes. Now comes the rotation. Yeah, Zeke on the ropes there, trying to bait something out. He does actually clear it. Goodbye. So spots Chihuahua out, but Phantom versus Ghost. You've got to expect Chihuahua wins that one. Patatech swings with a Vandal, though. 
2v3 definitely doable here for G2. Maybe not now. No. Nope. Oh, just triggered discipline. Just... They look better on Icebox. This just looks kind of hit and miss. I mean, they, they had a couple of nice moments towards the end of the first half, but beyond that, look at NIP. They've got they've got ultimates for days. They are ready to go. They're locked and loaded. Already one to be used. Why not? You've got potential to do it. And they're going to pull players back. JD swings into action, finds Artis, and right now just powers forward, taking space everywhere. Kriya is just being the paranoia. His positioning is the biggest problem. They don't even know where he is. Mixwell dashes past. Going to take the fight, but all the information is noted. That spike is on existence. And he is in that B. Yeah, Kriya actually gets the info on two players there. All the way in the defense is spawn. Mixwell and Pat actually making their way back over. And Ryan finding that kill is actually going to bring both members of G2 back towards heaven here. Pat attacks through ropes. Mixwell on stairs. Existence creeping through garage here. Got to worry about this cross, though. If Mixwell gets into a position to hold it, he's not watching. He's actually going to... The timing. He got, to, he got so paranoid about it. The, there was no spike plant while they had the opportune moment, so they decided to consider the other options. And as you can see, it's opened up a chance, but now they have to position perfectly for this retake. Otherwise, we've got an upset. This is the start of a big upset, and this is where everyone on the desk is wrong. If this doesn't go to zero, keep that in mind. This was how much we believe the G2 would be looking solid here. Now, Existence... Oh, oh my God. Turned away for a second, but Rhyme's got his back now. Mixwell left in 1v2. The last post didn't go so good, but maybe this time oh it could go different. But Mixwell well, he's sticking it. He wants to get it towards halfway. He's got it there, but he needs to get it all the way through. Ryan doesn't allow it. It's 13 to 5. The ninjas have beaten G2 on their home. Patatek, no idea what's the other side of that wall, but throws the paranoia down, takes a little bit of damage. He's got a tuck behind the switch there. Zeke, swing out. The reinforcements come through good. Two kills for him, Kriya and JD Fall. Huge bailout there by Zeke. The timing could have been awful, and Zeke's just popped the hell off. That's all thanks. We again, talked a little on the previous map about that conditioning. This is G2 doing what I say they love to do, which yeah, boy. is set the, pace, set the aggression, make them scared of oh, it. What? The double telling that split, the mid B split. And as you see, the ball goes up. That kind of cuts it off. Now, yes, instantly Patatek checks for it. You're not going to get away with those sort of surprises when there isn't enough of a threat to garner the attention. Ten seconds, Ten seconds on the board, a very late in the day hit coming through. Ryan has to hold the line, and he does get one, but two not going to come through. Oh, this straight away on the trade. Quick little push in now. JD trying to do some work. Spike is down. Not going to happen. The bigger guns have come out to play. Chihuahua with that phantom sitting in his cage. And even with all the rage in the world, he can't make much happen for it. Nice retake from G2 there. I mean, already right now, you know, all the way behind Pat Tech there, we'll get that kill and the wall down blocking tree off, but that's off a bit more than he can chew. Ryan will trade that one out. Ardis trying to hop up onto the wall, but Zeke definitely not noted here. Ryan expecting main, but okay. Baits out the plant there, taps the spike. Zeke tried to swing on him, but Ryan swung on him first. He knows this now. Ryan has to take the fight. This is just pure muscle aim, and it's going to be fit to come out on top. A hard position to play from for Ryan, especially off that camera. Off your feet. 30 seconds. Actually, Rolling this Thunder like going to get sent yeah. through tree. Yeah, look at this. This is a fast hit coming through right now. Zeke still in a good enough spot for one. Gets to readjust position. Caught in the back though. Good trade from existence. He needs more. And he gets more. But there's Pit again. The value of his kills coming in. They may not be. He may not be top fragging. You take G2 can't really fight. This one, they're too deep on the site. They weren't playing proactively to take initial fights. They're already kind of postured towards this. But a 5v5 retake isn't easy. We do have the off angle being garnered over there by the Cypher. We've got decent enough positions. I don't mind this. Chihuahua has to win this fight, though. Otherwise, yep. there could have been problems. And he does. Big win there. The late lurk from Patstag, or flank, rather. JD now going to post up, up, up on top. G2 actually managing to get down on the side. Pit and Zeke will find kills. Existence responds with one, but Ardis will send it home now. Existence, the last man standing. No flashes left. Ardis will hard clear him in hell. Good retake. Really, really close. So they know exactly where they are. Zeke could be the absolute execution here. Spots one sees two. Oh, that's big work from Zeke. He can just fade away now. He is the biggest nuisance in the world. A's vulnerable from short, but you still have the omen left. at the back patrolling around. I've got to say, G2 are in so much control here. They are, and it's, it's the contingency plan behind it. Again, reading where NIP are playing. Zeke, again, with... Oh, 
freebie onto Ardis. And actually, the second player there, actually low HP. Did he just cancel the TP? He did just cancel the TP. The spike can't go down now. That's a huge, huge tag there onto Korea's ultimate. He tried to TP into center site. And he gets tagged and it cancels. Wow. Zeke expecting them to swing out on this market angle. Let's see. Hunter's Fury and Rolling Thunder sent over on the other side of the map. Pit. Got to be careful here. He's tucked in next to the switch. The cage going to go up behind some time, but Existence just snaps on him as soon as it drops Patatech there to back him up. But back and forth trades here. Two for two. Brings it down to a 3v3 now. And again, just not an awful lot. What? Ah, oh, this just killed JD with a... Okay. The Sinatra. <laughs> uh, the weird thing was I, I glanced up to the, the, the yeah. top of the screen and I didn't see JD low HP. So, so I don't know where was that or how. I don't know. 30 seconds I left. really don't Last know. There we go. This round's getting horrific to time. handle. Welcome to the pain train. And it may not be stopping. Yeah, uh-oh. Side of the head? No. Yes. Ardis, not going to get through, are you? Comfy work. It doesn't happen when somebody gets 10 rounds in the first. <laughs> Quick hit actually over towards A here. Gonna back all the way up. Korea going to make it across the gen, but Patstech still swings out, finds Rhyme. Korea going to make use of the smoke up on heaven here. JD will get Rhyme back on his feet, so brings it back to a 5v5, but Korea still hunting. Hmm. Nah. Not going to get away with that sort of play against G2 right now. They're two on the ball. You can see Rainer starting to build that viability into these rounds. Quick bit of information going to be poured through towards the ninja side. But by this point, Zeke's already there. Here comes Mixwell saying goodnight. Doesn't actually land too much. It's JD doing well. And now the 1v2 begins. Tucked in the corner, looking dangerous, but not dangerous enough. Patitek, right there. It's the chaos fact. I think you're right. I think with Summon's look, that's pretty pretty wild. Anyway, we are into the second half, 10 to 2. Ninjas would have to get this pistol. I, I uh, don't. Okay. Yeah, that's not how you want to see it after. The, yes, they need to get this pistol. Um, Mixwell just out on an island with a frenzy and finds two there. And RP down to two. Remember, main is right. I'm actually going to bring one back, but Mixwell now puts it into a 2v1. Existence is going to give his position away by destroying this wall in B main, but you see already path tech positioning and market. Mixwell all the way back in a defensive spawn. It's just the perfect setup here. He's got to come through. He's got to clear all these close angles, and then actually they're just going to swing once he gets close to the spike. So making it as difficult as possible for Existence. Yeah, look at that plant. This would take a monumental failure from the G2 side that's just not going to happen. I'm just going to throw 400 credits at your face as well. And standardized play isn't going to work, especially on like a round like this. And they've got to set it up to be this, uh, like a B stack and then bait them in towards A, which is a really nice concept. Uh, it doesn't go so well because G2 is still very well prepared and, and well considered. But I like the intention. That's, uh, again, I don't care that it doesn't go perfectly to plan. JD did well to find two. They come back until they make it to double digits, right? But the problem is, MR12 doesn't allow us that much. So maybe let's get excited for the comeback at, let's say, eight rounds. Pitt's already fancying the next map, so he's got that sheriff working. Chihuahua, very, very sharp today, though. Going to continue to push in towards this. Nice work towards Mixwell, but Zeke on the trade. There is still potential here at 3v3. Wait. This flank could be huge. Patitek's oh been unchecked. He's got two players on the other side of this. Once he crests this corner, he is going to have them lined up. This could be the death of them. Zeke's already found one. There goes the second. This is going to be where it all falls apart as Rhyme. The only man alive to save the ninjas in a 1v3. You've got the heavy hitter still alive. And as the curtains close, it's not looking so good. Rhyme has to make his move. And you can see them considering everything so well. Vision taken away, and as is the round, Attackers as is the map, win. it's G2 to close this one split. Stacked out towards the garden. Mixwell should check on this cleanly. Does. No worries with oh, that. Catch the headshot to JD as well. Yeah, I mean, Mixwell's doing damage. We did at least have some benefit to the fact that Rhyme found one with the Bucky, so he can kind of keep some control and funnel them through What's long here? rather than sitting towards window. So I guess that's one bonus. 
With 22 HP though, he's gonna have a hard time getting anything else done. Existence will find one, but yeah, actually, Existence finds a second now. Finally Ooh. traded out Prime with the right click. And Pit actually, on a late lurk, comes through Hooker here. Spike's being pinged for him, but you can see Rhyme just tucked underneath Hooker here with Bucky, <laughs> the three-piece on the second round there. Be forced out here, the two-man swing, JD and Chihuahua, but no pick found. And actually, Ardis going to note the position of one player with that Hunter's Fury. Chihuahua finds two. Mixwell will respond onto existence and find the wall bang as well. Mixwell so good for these clearances right now. Wants to reload and actually not expecting JD swing out on that reload and actually Ardith finds themselves in a tricky position now 1v3 spike planted spots out one player in heaven can't land the shots it's getting counter peak left yeah, and actually i'm not sure if he pit really read that situation the drone comes through but two hours position oh creeping in pat actually finds kriya inside that smoke Ryan will respond with two that second tap. Clean as you like. Orbital strike goes down, forces JD out of that Very cubby. Nice. Oh, existence at peak. He's drawing actually getting a bit close for comfort. If he gets the tag there, he could lose his life because these two are close enough to punish it. And there you go, both kills actually. Ardis and Patatek finding Kriya and Chihuahua on site. Existence. No flashes left, just the fault line and the aftershock, so. It's going to be difficult for him to get any value from his utility oh. out of this situation. Certainly is. Spike planted. Eyes on Rhyme. Oh, sick on the first, but look how close that angle is. And existence just out to... Okay. What? what? No, Four this kills. is tilting. Okay. This is horrible. Mix will have to make a play in existence. And in that previous round, it came down to just, just being pushed. And there's another push actually coming in. Rhyme. Actually going to get the kill with the boom bot there onto Ardis. Going to invest the showstopper to try and clear up Mixwell, but has to spin around, take this hit. is. Super bloody battle there over towards A short. Now the plants come in and there are two players ready to play back into this. One is Existence and he's been doing well. However, a disadvantage sits in front of him and probably a fair amount of utility left on G2 considering how quick that hit came in, even off the investment of the ultimate. Chihuahua creeping out slowly, seeing how far he can get. A one way is going to make this tricky, but there goes the smoke. Quick little swing does give him the angle, but loses HP for it. Existence spots one. What can he do with this? Information garnered. Isolates. Good communication between the two. But the final players are going to make this tricky. That's going to at least remove Mixwell from the equation for a second. But there's still the additional man, and that's going to be Zeke. Zeke. Wait. Wait. No. Oh, okay. Zeke just saves okay. him. There was a second where that could have fallen to pieces. But we still know G2 when they get pretty mad they get pretty good now jd's gonna hear that all day long oh there's no subtlety to it looking a little flustered by this and a new battlefield being drawn by all those cages and traps being put up and everything being committed chihuahua in the meantime did find zeke and even that plant coming in g2 are down to two we want i want to see where they're at where are these g2 players pit towards the elbow does get into a fight with jd and he's not going to lose that mixwell's out of there done hooker and look as soon as it's done yes this time they found first blood but they peel away now jd can line a couple up on short chihuahua there with the counter peak and it's only a frenzy in the hands of Ardis, but they still stands pouring it through towards the shower good damage greater shot existence down mixwell now put to task is oh the body block you're gonna be mad about it you don't have to oh god if they lose this it's gonna be so okay. chilling, but no okay. you can Ardis. okay planted now but all five members of G2 now made the way across existence now. Well, no, there's a camera in hookup. Z, got to be careful there. A little bit lazy. Actually, JD and Chihuahua will find kills. It, it shouldn't be like this. It shouldn't even be a bother this round. They're, they're on pistols. And they're not even particularly upgraded pixels. Pixels? <laughs> Mixwell having to push in because JD just made that interesting. Uh, to worry about just yet. And you can see the patient here. The patience here, should I say. Pit, trying to keep track on this. Didn't see anyone just yet, but surely knows there's a plenty of potential already flying through, though. You're going to see it. Nice work from Mixwell. The sounds are spot on. Give me his headphones. Mind just don't do that. And it's Ardis looking sharp as ever, and they are controlling this round. No threats this time truly being found by those sheriffs, by those... And Kree are going to smoke off lamps on A, but Mixwell positioned for this kill after the recon drone drops. He finds the first, but Existence will swing and find the trade. Ardis oh, just needs to buy a little bit of time for his teammates now. A lot of damage coming off, actually. Finds a kill. 
Traded out by the oh, showstopper, though. Does he go for it? He's feeling bold. He's feeling brave even it pays dividends. Or are you looking for more? Pits there by his side. And the timing was just perfect. And now a 1v2. JD has been nuts, though. How can he isolate this to a 1v1 two times over? Looks for the first. He gets it. Oh! oh! JD! Oh, Cypher's utility as you, you know, as, as a smoke as such. But, yeah, that is very Spike filthy. Planted. This man is just doing the dirty. And actually loses out to Rhyme. Now, Spike is down. A gun's been recovered. Now, they are working with very little here. Keep in mind, it's frenzies, bits and pieces. It's really not a lot. And wait, that was sloppy from Zeke. Maybe not expecting that angle to be available, but he did find Chihuahua in the meantime. And now Ryan's really, really going to struggle to make anything happen with this. Yeah, Recon gets destroyed immediately. JD not going to be able to get any of that cheese through the smoke. He gets revealed in return. <laughs> Build up that confidence. Maybe this is how you do it. Switch it up a little. Find something. Oh, he's late. Oh, mm. the trigger discipline's poor, but now they're in between the rock and hard place. Forcing Migs well to fight, and he actually wins it. JD in the meantime walks in and just pushes them out. Say goodbye as Zeke now left in a dire scenario. Too many angles to contain. And NIP bound back so hard. This is big as well, and hopefully can keep five alive from this. As I say that, <laughs> Rhyme going to get tapped out there. Korea will secure the deal, but that's a big round now, and moment. First bit of contact made through showers. They're trying to isolate. It's Kriya Point Artist. That's not a bad start. And the Tracer, even better for existence. Zeke though, still tucked into the back of the site. Trying to buy time. Trying to allow rotations. Tries to avoid it. Tries to do everything he can. And Chihuahua walks into the trap. You don't get to play Zeke like that. They're pouring everything into trying to get rid of this one player. But there's only two of them alive. And again, they go into a trap. JD, a different beast altogether. Does best Zeke eventually. Now the retake. Not easy with an op. Oh, Never no, has been. Oh, did he see him? He's seen enough. He knows yeah. existence has been playing this corner. But how do you remove him from it? Such an integral left. round. That spike cannot leave that corner yet. Yeah, this is difficult. I'm not entirely sure why Pit? Pit's gone all the way back over here. Maybe expecting the TP. They don't know that existence has got the spike. But there's no reason for him to be there. I don't love it. Because I mean, JD's position was noted and so was existence. So now... The flank comes through market, maybe a little bit of a saving grace on that. And we'll see. I mean, it already looked like Breach was considering this, and he is. But he does get the kill. Big work from Pitt, and now JD in a 1v2. Now, information is limited, but somewhat. Again, process of elimination. Mixwell can clear as he goes. He has some idea. The smokes go up, so now he knows that Mixwell's around. Side oh, There it is. Good Sun. timing on the ultimate here. We'll keeps some of the information rolling, but JD still needs to do this. He's still trying to fight it out. Mixwell, he does not lose that. And the defuse comes through. G2 gets to 12. This could be all but over now. Fashioned by, but the problem is that Rhyme is going to be left with less than ideal. I wonder what the final look is for this side. Chihuahua quietly approaching, going through the motions. Definitely sees one lose his life. Paditech, so sharp, so swift towards the showers there. It does cause artists to head over towards A. So they would have a favorable, at least, approach towards B, but you can see the camera. It's almost that third man. They now know the information. Do they rotate off the back of it? Rhyme. Wary of the orbital strike actually going to come through and clear. Both players out of hookup. Showstopper coming through as well. Not sure if that's going to come through. It did come through the TP with the boom bot. So, again, one player isolated in TP here. And here comes the mad rotation back over towards A. They're going to leave Pit on site. Zeke inside TP. And the timing, if they give this up, I'm pretty sure Ryan is just going to stay posted on this. Because this is a huge threat to yes. NIP here. It is. Now, it did at least cause rotations. That paranoia from that previous time where they took that TP all the way around towards A caused that punishment. But it will be Pit. He has yeah, to do damage did. here. He has to do more than he did before. Why did he come deep? So that's that fight towards TP. Now, found, but Art is still doing damage. Big man turns up in big rounds. 23 seconds. Patience paying dividends, though. Right finds Artis. And here we go. Pit finally comes into this. Now, look, a 3v2. Still favorable to G2. The spike's still not planted. They cannot find enough respite here to get it down. Finally, Priya goes to the plant. Pit swings in, rides down. This is looking all good unless Priya can finally come online. He can't do it. Win. It's G2 to win it out, but what a close affair.